is Hobie broke? Is Hobie out of cash? What's going on? Let me start by saying that this video is not my idea. One of you, I'm gonna call you M, reach out to me and say, hey, I'm having this issue with my Hobie kayak. Hobie is not honoring the warranty, or should I say, they're not honoring the warranty as they should. And I'm gonna let him tell you the story in this video here today. But I also wanna give you my own story with Hobie and tell you a few things that you guys probably don't know. Maybe nobody really knows what's going on. But the short story is that Hobie was sold years ago because they were broke. They didn't have money to continue their business. They had to sell the business. You may ask yourself, how come? They charge you $6,000 for a kayak. Yes, there's a reason why they charge you so much for a kayak. Because that's the only way that they could stay in business. A lot of people think that when you buy a kayak, you're just paying for the plastic. No. You're paying for the mold, you're paying for the storage, you're paying for the materials that you need to make that kayak, you're paying for years of research and development. I did an entire video explaining why kayaks are so expensive. If you want to check it out, I'm going to link it somewhere. But you also, when you have a kayak company, you know, you're also covering losses of product that you shipped out to customers or dealers and they get destroyed. Who's going to pay for, for all that? The company. So all those are losses. And then on top of that, if you happen to offer a lifetime whole warranty, regardless who, who currently owns that kayak, you're just asking for trouble. So I'm going to let Mr. M tell you his story. And then I'm going to come back and tell you my own story with Hobie. Hey, Alex, uh, I want to thank you for letting me share my story with you. So as you can see here, uh, my serial number does end with a 21. So that kind of proves that it is a 2021 model. Recently, I've gone through an issue with Hobie where in one of inspecting my, my kayaks like I normally do from when I come back from fishing, normally I, they're stored upside down on my trailer. Uh, but in this particular case, I came back and I was looking and just inspecting it. And also because I recently had po posted this one for sale. Um, and as I go to look inside, just to kind of check inside of it, I, I glimpsed in there and I saw this crack here, as you guys will see. This crack there was basically manufacturer defect because um, this was screwed on too tight from the manufacturer. And you can kind of still, still see there's the light coming in right there. Obviously, I was not worried about it when it first happened because like, hey, you know, the history of Hobie is they take care of you, your kayaks, not a problem. So I called my local dealer. Where I got this boat is not where I am now at. I moved. Um, so when I called the de local dealer here, they submitted a warranty and then... He called me back and he said, hey, man, I am actually pretty surprised. So surprised. The local dealer was so surprised that he had to call Hobie to verify they weren't issuing a whole warranty, that they were issuing a weld repair, which is very uncommon for him. So far uh, this year, he has only um, had to do two warranties, both hull and both from the issue stemming from back here where there could be cracks due to um the hobie cart both dealers that i've talked to were really great they w almost went above and beyond to take care of me but in this particular case there's nothing they can do since hobie holds their hand and holds their purse i bought this during the pandemic went to a local dealer they had no kayaks available but he said hey i have my best friend who we recently warranted his kayak which was, this technically is a warranty to haul. But he said, but I'll also warranty in-house the drive. So he gave me the haul. Everything basically had a warranty. Um, and at that time, he was not lying. He was telling me the truth, right? Because up until then, people were still getting warranties for pretty much 
anything compromising the hull. So much to my surprise, the local dealer here told me that he could not warranty it because um, according to Hobie, they said because it was already warrantied once, this was a warrantied hull. In my opinion, this is very bad for consumers, especially if you trust a brand like Hobie. Look, you look at here, you could see I have basically eight thousand plus dollars in in kayak right this one plus tax four thousand plus tax four thousand as a consumer you expect yeah i i'll have a warranty repair this is the name reason i went with hobie i could have bought maybe you know a lightning or something much less you know with with a warranty with a customer service but i went with hobie because i thought hey they're the number one brand out here and they'll take care of you uh, but that was not my experience. Unfortunately, it seems like that is the route that Hobie is now taking because I have friends that either have worked or are at one point were part of Hobie team or have inside knowledge into Hobie. I learned recently through a friend that in the last year, Hobie has only been doing weld repairs. And this is not what the local dealer told me here, but my friend told me that one of the main reasons for the, the issue that the repair is because they say that this is not at the water line, okay? But when you look at the kayak, you can tell that, okay, water sits maybe halfway into the drive in here. And, you know, it's a couple inches from height to there. But anybody who fishes, if you've had any kind of experience on this kayak or any of, any of the kayaks, Everything's a wet ride, especially on windy conditions, in inshore conditions, change, chop, current, wake. A lot of water goes over this. And there's been a couple YouTubers who, who've gone out on open ocean and have discussed how at one point there was a flaw in the design of this hatch. And actually, you know, some, some people who were uh, offshore got a lot of water in here and luckily they had a way to get the water out but they just basically said hey this is not a safe and so in my opinion any crack that compromises the kayak is now not safe because in reality this whole kayak is at the water line right water line here doesn't matter when you have waves coming over hitting the side of the kayak right over and over again any compromise anywhere compromise up here right oh it's not the water line guys this is safety you buy it for safety you buy it for quality you buy it because it has a name because we think that this stands for something but look that's not the case anymore and again i want to thank you alex for letting me share my story with you now the problem with hobie and this is what is the problem is that everybody knew that you just buy a hobie kayak and you don't have to worry about the hole for never if it breaks, you contact your local dealer and they'll reissue a whole no question ask, you're fine. And that is part of the reason why Hobie Kayaks, and I have a candy because I'm coughing on that, sorry, uh, have such a high resale value. Because if you buy a $2,000 kayak, you know that if it breaks, they want to replace it. But that's not true anymore. So the secondary market for Hobies may get hit really hard. When you go to a dealer and you buy a $6,000 kayak because you think you could probably gonna sell it next, uh, a year later for $5,000 because it holds value. But now that's no longer the case because nobody's gonna buy a $5,000 kayak and then be out the money if something happens, especially on a plastic hole. I think this is gonna have a lot of major, major issues for hobbies and maybe the whole industry as a whole because there's not longer that Resell, high resale value. So people are going to be asking questions. Should I invest $5,000 in something that is used and it's probably going to break and then what? So I want to touch on why Hobie made a big mistake by not honoring this warranty claim for Mr. M. You guys saw me fishing out of my Hobie Outback for a long time. I pay for that hobby with my own money. Hobby never sent me a free kayak, and they never will. And I use that kayak a lot. I flipped it, I made a lot of videos. I let my friends borrow that kayak a lot of times. They had a wonderful time with it. 
some of them broke the drive and I had to fix it myself, but thanks God at the time, I have people at Hobie that sent me uh, replacement parts. They didn't even ask me a question. They didn't have to go to the dealer, so that was huge. It was just a minor thing, but they didn't have to go through the channels. So that kayak, uh, back in 2019, I, remember the, I don't remember the day, I needed to sell it. One, because I needed money to continue this business because making videos is not cheap. It costs a lot of money. And I needed the money like yesterday just to stay afloat with this business. And the day that the buyer was going to pick it up, like around 2 p.m. or so, I don't know, I, for whatever reason, went into the kayak and checked the kayak, made sure everything was fine. I didn't want to sell something broken to this guy. And I see kind of like a crack outside where the bungee cables are. And I open that kayak, I look inside, and I see that thing broken. I go, oh my God. Like, I needed that $2,000 I sold it for. I needed it that day. If I didn't get that money, I would have had to borrow money somewhere. Like, it was that bad. And I called the guy and said, hey, dude, this kayak has this problem. It's broken. Look at the pictures. You don't have to buy it right now. I'm going to go to the dealer. I'm going to get a replacement. It takes a week, two weeks, whatever, but I don't want to give you things. It's above the waterline, whatever. I spoke with Hobie people, not exactly Hobie people, but people that know about Hobie said, should it be an issue, should be replaced, not a big deal, blah, blah, blah. And he said, you know what? No, I'll buy it. He bought it. He bought the kayak. And I think the reason why he bought it is because he trusted Hobie's warranties. That even if it's a secondary owner, it would have been honored. Like he, if the boat will break later, Hobie would have replaced it. So he bought the kayak because of that. But that's no longer the case. That's no longer the case. I know you cannot just blindly buy a product like that anymore because look what happened. Mr. M got issued a welding warranty. And that is bad. You know why? You know what happened to that kayak? The one that I sold? It broke. In the middle of the ocean. That's a safety. That guy got... God knows what could have happened. Like things, bad things could have happened. Because that little crack, if you even if you weld it perfectly, you don't like it may be deeper than what it looked like. That hole is already compromised. And a welding crack is not gonna fix that issue. And then I, I see just I just see problems. I see Mr. M getting the welding thing done, selling it to somebody else, and that other person going through what my buyer went through. To finish the story, and again, this is of memory, <laughs> Hobie did replace his hole, and now he owns a boat. <laughs> so anyways, um, I want you guys to tell me about your own experiences with warranty claims, not just Hobie, but everybody else. Comment below. Be civil. Don't bash anybody. Just, Just... Just want people to be informed. And uh, I, the main thing with this is that I've been fighting this Hobie Armada forever. Telling them that, yeah, Hobie makes great product, but they're totally not 100% the best and all this stuff. And the things do break and all this blah, blah, blah. And, and I, I, be, I, I got in hate. So it's kind of like interesting that this is happening. And to keep this going... And I wouldn't be surprised if Hobie gets sold again because that investment firm that bought them, their sole purpose is buy struggling companies and bring them up to speed and selling them. And they, cut out, they let go of a lot of good people at Hobie and they're cutting back on warranties. So maybe in a year or two, that, that company is Hobie's back and running and this company sell it. Or maybe things don't improve and they totally sell it for pennies on the dollars and Pelican buys Hobie. I wouldn't be surprised if, if Pelican or the company that took over by end up buying Hobie kayaks. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, Mr. M, for um, you know, your idea and for trusting me to put your message out there. And I hope that they do reach out to you and make things right.